guys uh before i start this interview and start my conversation with marcus so he's one of our client please go ahead right now and click on that subscribe button and if you guys are looking for more credit repair leads you know just check out our like you know description box below you can schedule an appointment with us and yeah i'm very excited here to interview one of our client marcus the legend <laughs> uh, <laughs> it, and man. yeah and i think you're working with us for uh, i have seen like our records i think uh, eight months now from yeah, last I, november well i started uh it was like a month before january so like december is when like the yeah. Yeah. stuff like that yeah yeah All, almost like november or december yeah uh, i seen yeah but yeah bro so tell us your background like why did you started this business and where are you at right now yeah so initially we got into it um because uh, i mean just like a lot of people like we all do with like credit issues and stuff like that so that's initially how i got into it um i had to learn about like credit and stuff like that just from personal experience like for example um i used to be in a position to where i personally couldn't even get up approved for like an apartment or anything yeah um, so I had to like literally figure out how my own credit worked and stuff like that and from there um you know start helping out like family members giving them advice and stuff like that and then we would just got like you know referrals and then just start charging people and kind of just turned it into a business from there yes yeah. sir yeah makes sense bro so you you basically had like some kind of passion in you like if I can do it like I can also help other people to fix that credit yeah. Another thing, too, I had a friend. He's in uh, California. Shouts out to Everett. But he actually was already kind of doing credit as a business. Nice. He was like working with someone like a company. And yeah. uh, he was kind of telling me about it, too. And he's also like a big influence to where like actually, you know, actually started my business as well. So shouts yeah. out to Everett. Yes, sir. Yeah, I, I feel like, you know, we had the same kind of like, you know, background story. Like even for us, like, you know, when we started like this particular like credit repair marketing business, like four or five years ago, uh, what we did is like, you know, we had like one of our uh, friend, he was located in Florida and in the beginning, you know, we helped him to scale his like, you know, credit repair business by getting him like, you know, message inquiries and stuff. And slowly and steadily, you know, we just figured out, wait, there is something here, you know, and we got into this and, you know, we literally... Uh, right now, you know, as you know, we work with more than 115 clients at this point. But in the beginning, we already had like a marketing experience before. Like we used to do like, you know, e-com dropshipping back then. Oh, okay. uh, yeah. While doing that, you know, we got into this like four years ago, uh, four or five years ago. And, you know, we started like helping other like credit repair consultants as well. Uh, bro, so like how many client acquisition channels do you have right now? um it's just for the credit repair uh yeah. so we do it on facebook because i mean obviously you're always going to want to be posting stuff on your personal mm -hmm. and stuff like that we get a lot of stuff from like facebook uh but also just the instagram we we take that very seriously and almost try to kind of almost treat the instagram like a landing page so like the way yeah. we have it set up is like have testimonials um reviews and stuff like that and we also learned a lot of stuff from you as well like how you kind of get like the video reviews and stuff like that like we do that with our clients now too because like when i looked at that i was like dang that's kind of smart so i was like let's start doing that with our clients and we started asking them for video review <clears throat> excuse me for uh video reviews too yeah yeah so, uh, yeah bro i i mean like you know you should always document yourself for you know getting more future clients i feel like at least from the beginning like when we started like even when we were like you know doing small things we used to document all our whole journey by taking all those like you know video testimonial from our clients yeah you know? it's crazy too because we used to do like uh flyers and mm -hmm. kind of just dm people like hey you need help and stuff like that and now it's just way different it's set up yeah. to where people come to us and they're like begging yeah. for our services <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the power of running ads bro that's the power of running ads <laughs> you know just, just like, you know, get in front of as many people as you can and, you know, you're going to get what you want for sure. Guys, uh, in terms of number, I'm pretty sure uh, Marcus won't mind me sharing. Uh, but right now he's making more than 10 grand a month at this point. And uh, I, I feel like your journey was way too different compared to what our other clients go through. And I feel you should never, ever compare your journey 
with what other people are doing so this is like you know the worst mistake people would ever make is like yo bro this client went from 0 to 10k in like 2 months 3 months what happened to me xyz you just don't know like you know what they're going through right now so i feel uh, your journey like you know your journey from like 0 to like you know 10k was like you know way more different and you are like very consistent you know like you uh, in terms yeah. of like you know following the process trusting the process you know like putting in all the efforts what do you think yeah that is that is a good point cuz like I mean, you could kind of get caught up in that because like other people might success success in like two months, three months, four months. But yeah. as long as you know like the process works and you know it's like yeah. a proven plan, you just have to literally be consistent like month yeah. after month, month and your time will come, you know. Eventually over time you put in so much work, you're gonna get rewarded for it for sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it's a compounding effect, bro. Like uh, I, I feel like you know, this is the like best ever advice i could ever give to anyone like this we basically learn something about this from our another client or like our, our another mentor uh it's like a popcorn effect you know like whenever you uh, you know put like all the popcorns inside the microwave like yeah, micro one you know you see mm -hmm. like you know for the first like 2 3 minutes nothing happens like at one point like you know, you'll get so many popcorns out from that you know microwave that you couldn't even imagine you know, it's like same thing with the Facebook ads. Well. If you notice, like in the beginning, you know, there is nothing happening, like nothing, nothing kind of like activity happening for the first two days, three days, four days. And slowly and steadily, like it just, your graph just like, you know, goes up and up. Yeah, that's why consistency is important. Because a lot of times, like say, for example, someone might have quit after like the third or fourth month. You yeah. Know, like you quit and then your time would have came like the fifth, sixth or seventh month down the line. Yeah. So like... That's why it is important to be consistent, you know, because a lot of people will give up in the beginning and they'll just miss their shot. Yeah, bro. Like, of course, like, you know, it's not a get rich quick scheme, right? You need to be stay consistent, you know, just make sure that you know, you're consistently putting in efforts with your Instagram branding, you know, Facebook. Like, making 10k a month is not a joke. <laughs> you know, it, mm -hmm. it takes hard work, consistency over time. Over the period, you know, to make sure that you know you are hitting that numbers on you know month to month basis. Exactly. Uh, yes, sir. So, bro, uh, right now you only have like Facebook and Instagram in terms of like acquisition channel. Like only you are only running like paid ads, or you also have like organic referral, word of mouth. Yeah, we do like organic referral and stuff like that. Um. So yeah, like our personal social media, like literally, we're just always posting stuff about credit. So a lot of people like DM us like, hey, like, how does this work? Or, um, you know, just asking us questions and stuff like that. And a lot of people book consultations and then sign up. So um, that is a big part of it as well. Like our social medias are literally just like promoting our business. <laughs> so like where are your most of the clients coming from? Like, uh, is it only paid ads, like maximum amount? Or... Oh, yeah. Yeah, for okay. sure. The the paid ads for sure. Just because like it's a constant flow of leads. Like when you're doing like organic stuff, like you'll get some signups here and there, but like the advertising, that's where you actually grow. You know what I mean? Because like before we we're only doing organic. And then every month it's like you're kind of on a spinning wheel. You're not actually growing. But like once you start doing the advertisements and what I noticed like firsthand, that's when we actually started to be like, okay, now we're like making a little bit of money now. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, like, you, you know, if, even if you see it this way, like, organic, bro, you can't really reach, like, you know, like, hundreds of thousands of people. With uh -huh. paid ads, it's day and night. Like, you literally wake woke up, like, you know, like, in the morning, and you saw, like, you know, shit ton of leads coming in. <laughs> exactly. You know? And another thing, too, you ever see that quote? It says, like, strangers are your biggest supporters. Mm. that's the biggest thing too because like you can't really get in front of like those strangers that really want to support you just like doing mm. organic like yeah you can do networking events and kind of just be on social media and your network through there but if you really want to get in that pool of those strangers that are going to want to support you that don't even mm. know you you got to do advertising that's the only way that you're going to do it at like a that's high so level true bro yeah yeah that, that's a good point that's a good mm -hmm. point. I, it makes sense, bro. Uh, so how much do you charge right now, bro? Like for your creator plus services? Yeah, so we have two different options. We have one where you could pay a one-time fee. It's five ninety five. dollars mm -hmm. um, If they do the one-time fee, they actually save $50. Mm -hmm. And then the second option we have is our payment plan. The way that works is they would just pay $129 at enrollment. 
and then they would pay 29 over the next four months. So they're actually paying more if they do the monthly, which mm -hmm. is kind of give them a benefit to where they want to pay up front, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it makes sense. It makes sense, bro. So that's how we have it set up. Yeah, yeah. It, it's good, bro. And like, uh, what's the sales process looks like? So let's say like, you know, somebody saw your ad, okay, on Instagram or Facebook. Uh, they click on send message or learn more, you know, and they reach out to you. So what's the sales process looks like after that? Yeah, so basically it goes straight to our DMs as mm -hmm. from the messaging ads and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Um, and it'll just say like, you know, interested or more info. Then we'll, you know, kind of just ask them like, hey, thanks for reaching out. Um, what seems to be the issues going on with your credit? And then that's what they'll kind of tell us like, okay, like I'm dealing with this, this, this. And I'm like, oh, okay. Like just kind of seeing where they're at um, to yeah. see if we can actually help them. Um, and then after that, and I'll ask them like, is there anything else going on with your credit or like, you know what what are you trying to do with your credit and then they'll kind of just like tell us a basic information um from there i'll ask them like okay we do offer free consultations let's go mm -hmm. ahead and book you for a consultation i'll ask them for their name email phone number and then book them on a call from there um mm -hmm. and then obviously like we learned this from you as well is uh trying to get them on the phone as soon as possible because yeah. at first I wasn't used to that either. I'm like, why would I call them like right away? <laughs> but it actually does work. Like it does work. Like if you really do call them right away, like they're more interested because, you know, you're striking the oven while it's hot, you know, and they're more yeah. like, yeah, but yeah, obviously bro. there's going to still be people that, um, yeah, aren't going to hop on the phone call right away. Cause sometimes people will call, hit us up. They'll be like, yeah, I'm still at work or, um, I'm not available right now, but we'll eventually, you know, obviously book them on a different time right away. But um, you always want to shoot to try to have someone on the phone call um, as soon as possible for a consultation. True, bro. And like, you know, leaving your phone number, you know, right before calling them also increases your chance. Of yeah, we do that too. That's a big change too. I didn't think about that as well. That's another thing we learned is because when you're getting a call, you're not really expecting like where it's going to come from. So you might mm. as well find it or not even answer so like we always mention them right away too like we're going to be calling you from this specific number so that way you know to answer it so we do that include that in our messages too that that's amazing bro that's amazing i like the thing is uh based on our experience when we used to you know work with some of our clients back then what we used to find is like you know they used to schedule an appointment with them and they never used to show up at all you know and they used to worry like you know why are these people not showing up and right. then we figured it out, like, you know, how about we just try to take them on call as soon as possible? Because the psychology behind it is like, bro, there is a difference between the audiences. Like, the strangers that we are targeting, they literally don't know, like, you know, so many things about you and your business, you know. So that's basically a cold audience. And when it comes to warm audience, which is like, you know, referral, word of mouth, or family and friends, you know, they are more trustworthy in this process compared to the cold audience you know of course right. like even, even if they like you know warm audience schedule a call with you after two months or three months they are going to sign up but but when it comes to like you know specifically cold audience they are not because of course like you know they just don't know anything about you as of yet so right. what we really try to do is like you know we just want to get them on phone build that trust and try to close them as soon as we can you know, I, I feel yeah, you sure. also have a like one call close, maybe like you basically yeah. call them and sign them away, right? Sign them up right away. Yeah, we've done that multiple times. Yeah. yeah. To where it's, you know, they sign up right away or we call them on the phone and they literally sign up right there. Yes, yeah. sir. <laughs> That's amazing, bro. <laughs> uh, bro. Uh, so right now I feel like, you know, this question is out of context in what we do, but like, how do you get your client results? Yeah. So, I mean, there's this, it's, it's a simple way. You're pretty much, all you're really doing is disputing the accuracy of someone's account. So for example, there's certain laws, um, put in place to actually protect the person that has a credit mm -hmm. report, like everyone in the United States. So a lot of times what happens is there's inaccuracies within someone's credit report mm -hmm. and that's actually a violation of one of the laws. So we basically mm -hmm. target, we look for those violations within those reports, mm -hmm. within the specific accounts that are actually hurting their credit. And that's yeah. how we're actually able to get those items removed and stuff like that. Um, so that's really what, what the industry does. Um, yeah. The yeah. Person, so. 
yeah because uh, we have seen is like you know people usually try to like delegate that process of back end basically outsourcing that process to like someone else i i i i think i thought that you know you were doing the same maybe that's why i asked you uh no we still do everything um in house uh, nice. i actually work with my brother so like he does a lot of the back end stuff Okay, sorry about that. I had to relocate real quick. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, that's fine. But yeah, so basically what we're what we were saying is uh yeah, so pretty much me and my brother, we're like a team. So yeah. I do like a lot of stuff like this. He doesn't really want to be on camera as much. So he pretty yeah. much just does like the work on the back end. So um yeah, we work perfectly together. Yep. So you basically have your whole like getting client results process in house right now. Yeah. Yep. Mm. We still do it that way. Makes sense, bro. Makes sense, bro. Uh, I I feel like you know this would be a different question, but why do you think like you know most credit repair businesses don't succeed? Um, I would honestly say because a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll onboard people when they necessarily know they they're not able to help that person. Um, like for us, for example, we always like to do that consultation and we definitely do turn people away from time to time. We're not the type of company that's just going to onboard everybody. We want to actually make sure we can help you mm-hmm. to where we can actually get your results versus someone just onboarding them because they want the money and then they're mm-hmm. not able to get the results because they can't actually help them. So for us, we take that very seriously. So we just always want to make sure we can actually help people. So I, w- I would say that is a big reason. Um, a lot of people may just want to enroll you just just to do it and not even mm. confirming they can actually help you. Makes sense, bro. What's your conversion rate looks like right now? Uh, in terms of like closing people. Um. So I don't. Uh, I, I, I probably shouldn't know this, but off the top of my head, usually we get around like ten to fifteen leads a day. Uh-huh. Um. From there, about like half of the people would most likely um book a consultation. Uh, the other mm-hmm. people will usually follow up with later in the week. Um, and then from those half that do sign up for the consultation, about half of them would probably answer. And then mm-hmm. from there, it's about like one or two people that would usually sign up from there. Got it. Um, so, so I, I feel really like, just like 30%. Maybe like 30%? Almost. Um, or more than yeah, that. that sounds about right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sounds about right. That, that's a good number, bro. Like I, I feel like uh, industry average is around like 10 to 15%. You know, like a thirty percent or more than that definitely you know helps better. And like, how did you got better in terms of sales? Um, I would definitely say from watching your videos for sure. Like <laughs> I told you before, uh, when I first started, I would literally watch your videos and the interviews, whether I'm driving in the car, like, um, just eating lunch. I'm always watching the uh, sales videos so that way I can understand a lot of the um the techniques that a lot of other people that are using are to be successful you know so a lot of the videos um it kind of just doing it on the phone over and over because when we first started with you um i don't think i told you this but we actually didn't do consultations we would do everything through text Mm -hmm. and we just was kind of set on that like well it's social media days and people are always on their phone no one wants to talk on the phone so we just did a lot of things through text so when we got with you um that's when we really got in tune with doing the consultations and then from there it just went up bro for sure yes, so sir. yeah to answer your question just watching your videos and literally watching them like 10 15 times each and uh yeah now we're here <laughs> doing ours <laughs> yes sir yeah absolutely bro it, it's amazing man you, you've been with us like for like last seven eight months and it's been a good journey bro you know? Yeah, for sure. Like I said, uh, I'm just getting started, man. Like I definitely yeah. want to keep going and keep going to the top. And if yeah. you can hit 10k, you can hit 30, you can hit 40, 50, and then from there hit 100. So it's doable. It's just you literally got to keep doing what you're doing, but just at a bigger level. I'm very yeah. glad that you brought this point, bro. I'll tell you what, okay? Like, I, of course, like you know, with our experience as well, I feel going from zero to one is the most toughest part that you can actually tackle. From 1 exactly. to 10, it's way too easy compared to what you went from like 0 to 1. Like 0 to 1 is literally by yeah. far the hardest part. You know, That's so true because a lot of times people think there's like a secret. Like there's a secret <laughs> formula. Like, But once you get to 1 to 0 to 10K, it's like, okay, like 
you have the formula. It's just doing the advertising. Advertising. Yeah. It's just a numbers game from there. Just doing the consultations, yeah. signing people up, and then from there, just to get to ten, you literally are doing the same exact thing, yeah. but just at a bigger level. You're spending True. more money. True. You might have to hire like another salesperson and yeah. just kind of just go bigger. And people should really be grateful that you know, like this particular business is recession proof, bro. Like literally, yeah. you know, it's a recession proof business. Like. <laughs> <laughs> people have no idea like you know what kind of opportunity like red river business actually holds you know and like people literally want to you know give up very soon i feel like you know if people would like just go on and go on and stay consistent with what they are doing i feel you know we would have like so many uh you know great entrepreneurs running like you know this multiple six seven figures like you know businesses what do you think yeah that is definitely true and um yeah, it is recession proof. Like it, there's always people that are running the issues with their credit and yeah. there's always you know people that are, you know, able to get credit once they turn a certain age. So it's like it's yeah. literally just a pool of unlimited amount of clients and yeah. literally everybody could just be out here starting their business and really eat, you know. There's enough people for everybody. <laughs> true, you know? true, bro. Like I I feel <laughs> uh when we like started doing the research like there was like 40 to 50 million people in all over united states that are yeah. currently looking for like you know credit repair services or that yeah. they have like bad credit yeah, there's know? not even enough companies to even help that many people <laughs> you know what i mean so it's like anyone could start this business you know get connected with you <laughs> start running their advertising numbers up and literally yeah. start a six figure business in like 3 months yeah yeah Super bro doable, yeah and at least they need to give like you know three four months just to see like you know if they can really scale this business and get it going right. like people literally get so frightened by like you know the amount of like you know ad spend they are doing etc but i like i'm I'm pretty sure like you, you would have like you know seen like so many other agencies out there guys i'm gonna reveal a secret like our basic package is as low as our guy charging for one particular client <laughs> you know like literally yeah, one client of marcus will cover your whole marketing <laughs> cost like that's how we are affordable you know i know like you know people charge like three grand four grand we are not one of them we are not going to cost you arms and legs instead like you know it's only going to cost like at least one client for and the rest whatever you guys make is like your own profit you know at least we deserve you know one particular client like you know cost to cover like whole marketing stuff and everything you know yeah so that's the other thing too is like the recurring income comes in like super handy so like if you yeah. signed up a client on a monthly plan the first and the second month of the previous month mm. you, you're gonna get that same money and your fee is already paid literally the yeah. first day of the month so it's like any from there you're literally just paying for the ads and then you're just yeah. literally uh, all profit so, yeah bro it yeah. it should be no brainer for most of the people <laughs> no it is for sure bro like i was like when we did our consultation i was like i don't even know if it lasted like 15 minutes i was yeah. like we can start now like let's do it <laughs> and uh from there it just went up yeah bro we, we heard like you know with so many of our clients is like scared money don't make any money yeah you that know? is true because a lot of people time uh they want to hesitate and like do research for like months and it's like yeah what more do you have to think about when you got the reviews the results and stuff like that like that's all you need just get started and take action yeah you know action yeah. fingers always win yeah because imagine like you know if there was the same guy like marcus and he was still doing his research due diligence <laughs> like marker is marcus is already at 10k a month <laughs> you yeah. know and that like, guy what is more going, like, like what more research would you have to do? Like if you would have started like five months ago, you would already doing 10 K plus, you know, yeah. it's just, you got to get started take action. And like I said, man, action takers always win in this world. So yeah. Action takers are money makers. <laughs> that's facts. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, bro. I, so this is the last state of like, you know, our interview. So like whenever we get on the call with someone like, you know, in the end, what we do is like, you know, we do a sales role play where mm -hmm. I will act as a client and you can act as a, you know, of course, like as your own business. So let's gotcha. say I saw your ad, I reached out to you. Okay. We're going to do a quick like sales role play. Okay. Okay. 
yeah so no. i reached out to you i left your in my info to your inbox and then how would your process go got you so as soon as we're on the phone i'll be like hey harshal uh I'm just calling you for your scheduled credit consultation um, yeah. that you have booked with me today. Do you still have time for that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? Okay, got you, man. Um, it usually runs about like 30, 35 minutes or so. So I always just like to make sure beforehand people have enough time cut out. So that works for you? Yes, sir. It works. Yep. Okay. Got you, brother. Um, Awesome. So before we get started and everything, how did you actually hear about us? Was it just online or referral or from like advertisement? Yeah. So I saw your ad on Instagram. And I just thought to reach out. Okay, got mm -hmm. you. Awesome, man. Um, so yeah, we can hop straight into it. What actually made you want to reach out and get help with your credit? Like, what's all going on? If you could break uh, yeah, it down, that'd be perfect. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So uh, right now, I stand at four hundred credit score. Okay, I have one bankruptcy, and in the next twelve months, I'm thinking about buying a home. And I also have like a couple of like, you know, negative items on my credit report. So yeah, that's what we have. Awesome. Yeah, that's awesome, man. I always like when my clients have a end goal in mind because they take the process way more serious and they're like ready to get started as soon as possible. So that's awesome. Um, so besides the bankruptcy and stuff like that, what what else was there on your credit? Was there like medical debt, you know, charge offs from credit cards, repos, evictions, any stuff, anything like that? Yeah, I, I had like a couple of uh, charge off from my credit credit card. Got you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely something we can assist with. Uh, I always like to ask questions first. I'll be honest, just because we want to confirm we can actually help you. Mm -hmm. Um, because there is times we definitely do have to turn people away from time to time. So we just want to confirm we can actually help you and you know take a look at your report. Um, mm -hmm. from there, that's when we'll like basically like have them pull up their credit report and stuff like that. We'll kind of yeah. literally just run through like everything that they're dealing with. And yeah. then at the end, we'll be like, okay, like everything looks good, man. Like you'll definitely be a good fit. Um, let's run through some of the benefits of our company, what we offer mm -hmm. and things like that. And then we literally get straight into the enrollment form. Um, God, so it's bro. literally as simple as that. Yeah. So you basically, uh, like take all the payment on the call itself, on the credit consultation call. Yeah, so basically we have an enrollment form we send them. Um, they literally do it while they're on the phone. They obviously nice. do it on their end, but we're on nice. the phone call while they're doing it. So, for example, um, say we went through the details on your credit report, like, okay, everything looks good, harsh. Um, so what we could do now is get straight into the enrollment. What I'm going to do is send you the link to our form. Mm -hmm. um, from there, it's just going to ask you basic information about yourself, uh, mm -hmm. address and things like that, and then just the card you want to use for the automatic payment. Um, and you said you want to do the upfront fee or was it the monthly? Uh, I wanted to do monthly, yeah. Monthly? Okay, yeah. A lot of our clients do that just because you're not coming out of pocket all at once. So we can yep. definitely do that. Um, Literally, I'll send you the link, fill out the enrollment. I'll put them on mute. Like, okay, like, I'm going to put you on mute so that way you can take your time with that. And then they submit it. And then from there, we send them like their welcome email, their client portal. And that's how you get paid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have you ever had that moment? Anytime where like, you know, you put them on the mute and they literally cut that phone off because they don't want to pay. Yeah, there there was times where, I mean, that has happened where like someone would hang up and they would yeah. like never call back or nothing. Um, but if they're going through the consultation and they're signing up for the credit monitoring, we partner with Smart yeah. Credit, um, mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're interested, you know, because that's the thing we do too is like, we also uh, answer like, or ask like filter questions. I, I forgot to ask you this one too, but usually in the beginning, I'll always say like, so Harshal, you know, as we go through this consultation and you like how mm -hmm. our pricing is set up, uh, set up and you know, the benefits we offer, um, how soon would you be looking to get started? You know, as soon as today or next month, next week, like nice. how serious are you? So nice. that I would ask before we actually look at their credit report. So I forgot that, that part, but. That, that, that's an amazing question, bro. That's an amazing question. Yeah. Because yeah, it, it kind of gauges like where they're at, like, and a lot of times people are serious. They'll tell us like, oh, like, yeah, like I'm serious and I want to get started today. So I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, so like, let's take a look at your report, see what's mm -hmm. all going on. And then we'll go from there. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that, that is an important question to ask. Makes sense, bro. Yeah. And in the end, like, you know, just take the payment. Makes sense. Yeah. Bro. Uh, so last thing. What would you recommend to the people who are on the fence to work with us? 
I would just say, like I said before, man, like take action. Like you have the results, you have the reviews, you have everything put in place. So there's literally no more research you have to do. And all you have to do is sign up one client and your fees paid for. So it's like yeah. literally a win-win situation. So you just have to get started and um, take action, do it. And um, you'll have an interview just like this. <laughs> <laughs> in <10K a> month. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, bro. That's yeah. like American dream. <laughs> yeah and it's crazy because when i first started with you too like that's what my goal was is i would be looking at the interviews watching them back to back and i'd be like i want to get on one of them interviews and here we are here like i took action and uh yeah. got started and i got my own interview now <laughs> thank you bro yeah it's it's an honor bro to you know work with you yeah. and get you on the interview bro thank you for doing this for yeah, us absolutely bro <laughs> like, let, let's keep going bro i'm trying to go to the top <laughs> <laughs> let's get it bro yeah guys so this was the interview with one of our client marcus and guys again if you are looking for more credit repair leads or if you want to scale your credit repair business check out our description box below you will find a calendar link and just click on it and schedule a free strategy session with me or one of our team member and uh, yeah guys that's it and one last thing again just subscribe to our channel so whenever we launch any new video you guys can stay up to date so thank you bro thank you for doing this interview with us we really appreciate your time absolutely and we just love working with you thank you man absolutely bro we'll talk soon thank you sir yeah thank you bro see you soon man adios all right brother take care yeah. yep, yep.